Hi YouTube, my name is Nana and welcome to my channel and congratulations to, you know, my fellow progressives, liberal, liberals, democrats, people who I feel should be excited right now. I'm crazy excited right now. Very excited, very happy. You know, this week started out with a lot of frustration. If you've been following American politics, um, then you know that this week has been a huge week for the Supreme Court. We had, you know, three major cases that have been getting a lot of attention. Um, the first on affirmative action, then on the Voting Rights Act, and then on the Defense of Marriage Act, DOMA, and Prop 8, um, so gay marriage. And the week started, it was honestly pretty disappointing. For affirmative action, the court just sent it back to the lower courts. Um, not really action taken for or against it. But we did see, um, in the opinion of, uh, Justice Clarence Thomas, uh, a lot of sort of disappointing, uh, somewhat, you know, enraging, <laughs> depending how invested you are, comments, um, regarding <laughs> affirmative action. Uh, and then we moved on and hugely disappointed with the Voting Rights Act. Um, Section 4 of the Voting Rights Act covers which states have a historically poor record of upholding democracy and voting rights. Section 5 then says that those states have to pass any new changes to their voting law through uh, the Justice Department. So those states are then subject to the federal government. Um, however, you know, states or, you know, counties with especially good records, cities with especially good records could actually opt out of this program. Um, but the Supreme Court ruled that Section 4, they struck it down as unconstitutional. Um, and so that essentially takes all the teeth out of Section 5 because now there are no states that are actually subject to that. So the Supreme Court really kicked it back to Congress to come up with some new legislation. Um, so, yeah, disappointing. You know, the Voting Rights Act, it was renewed in 2006. Um, lots of time spent deliberating that, but still nearly unanimous. Um, in the House and completely unanimous in the Senate for, you know, everyone that voted. Um, so definitely big disappointment. Um, even more <laughs> of a disappointment and annoyance, um, again, is some of the rhetoric coming out of Justices um, Scalia and Thomas. Um, we also had Justice Alito acting, you know, fairly childish, if I do say so, um, rolling his eyes when Justice Ginsburg was reading her dissent on a different case um, earlier. So, just not really a lot to be happy with early in the week, but things really turned around last night. 